cadet class. Yeah. It's just like a spare bike. This is a spare bike. Well, not that one is there. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. How you doing, mate? Yeah, alright. You? Yeah. That's Darcy's. That's Darcy's aspect, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Check that. What class is it? He's a junior. What's this one? Alright, Dad. Hi, Bob. Hi, mate. You alright? You've got a different hairstyle. Oh, what's all that on it? Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 You're right. <laughs> Don't catch us doing this, Bob. We're meant to look professional. And then, if not, you've got enough little circles on that one to do that. If this gets shorter and shorter, the diff. If this goes too bad, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Textbook says you should be using this one. Yeah, thank you, man. You're on these guys' corner, really. Minimum. Morning. That would do all right. Yeah, you? Yeah, good. Thank you. Yeah, need some more oil. Yeah. More oil below in the middle.
what to leader, Levy Collins going down that back straight on lap three, the last lap for these little e-bikes. Creases lead all the time as finally Archie Denham takes his last lap flag. The leader now going into that uh, top corner in the first race of the uh, e-bikes and that's Levy Collins well clear at the front. Still we have Kobe Guttridge in second. Archie Denham in third, checker flags out, and it's win for number 08, Levy Collins. Waiting for the second rider to come across the line, which will be Kobe Guttridge. And they comes across the line to finish in second place. And then still going down the back straight is uh, Archie Denham. So three generations of denim here today because Grandad Lester will be racing in the uh, GT 140s. Lewis is here watching his son and it's Archie, his son, who's going to finish third in this first heat of the uh, e-bikes. So win for 08 Levy Collins, second 174 Kobe Guttridge and third number 81 Archie Denham. We now move on then to the combination of Auto Cadets and Cadets. Right, we move on to race number two, Auto Cadets and Cadets. So coming into line then for race two, Auto Cadets and Cadets. See the red flag still raised over on that far side of the track. on the first seat of Auto Cadets and Cadets. Somebody's got a cracking start and pulling away as they go to the back straight for the first time. That's Charlie Dowd who's tucked himself into that second place position. Could well be Alfie Ship that's hit the front. We'll certainly be able to pick them out when they come by us for the first time. We only three have tapped two out there. So uh, this is uh, Alfie Ship who leads them from uh, number five. Charlie Dowd in second place. There's a what has pulled up the middle of the track already with problems as the third place rider going down that top bend and will be certainly be lapped by the race leader before he completes a lap as we see Alfie Ship then totally in control at the front from Charlie Down holding second place position. They lap that third place rider as Ship leads completing that lap then. 991, of course, that's Darcy Austin, a daughter of Mike Austin in her first ever ride on a bike. Never practiced, never done nothing, so she's out for the first time. So it is then still um, Alfie Ship. The farther the race goes, the longer he's complete, and the is building up his lead position as he takes the last up flag this time then. In precious stuff for Alfie Ship, Charlie Dowd to hold that uh, second place position. Darcy Austin is in third. So we want to lead it going on that far side of the track for the fourth time. We'll lap that third place rider for the second time. That's the advantage that um, Alpi Ship has got at the front. Very impressive stuff. And the first seat of all the cadets and cadets. It's a win there for number 16, Alpi Ship. Charlie Down coming around this uh, corner now to move and get the second place position. And in third place. Maiden performance for 991 Darcy Austin. So result of race two win for number 16 Alfie Ship. Second number five Charlie Dowd and third 191 991 sorry Darcy Austin. So coming to line then for the first heat of the juniors. Good to see a full, virtually a full grid of juniors in action today.
back of there. Looks like one of the riders got a few problems. It's broke ranks in the starting position. Now it's going to go back into line then for the first date of junior action. Could be some good action with uh, Archie Rolf, Kane Newby, Finley Theobald, Rex Austin. Could be some very, very interesting action in this first date of junior action. Pop for the tank, so away they go. And who's that broke clear the front? As they go to the back straight for the first time, somebody's made a dreadful start and gone through third, fourth and second. Is that Archie Rolf that's working his way through the pack? Red flag is out. Red flag is out. It was Archie Rolf at the front as I thought it may be. And it was Kane Newby that uh, oh, see what well, we've got a problem. Something the tape's all wrapped around him, that's why it's a restart for race number three. So are we ready to go this time? Reps pick up again, away we go, this time they all get away. Set back two of them are left on the line as they go in the back straight for the first time then. Making a way in that back, that good race going on for first and second place. Looks like Archie Rock to me that leads him coming up that top four. He's the lead and he's going into second place. But look at the speed of Archie Rolf and he come motoring out of that top corner, absolutely flying on at the front then. It's still Theobald who's got the second with Newby, hanging on to third, these three but a long way clear of the remainder of the pack. With number 24, the next one, Ryan Cole comes by in fourth place. But we're concentrating those leaders because they really are motoring on and they're going to be amongst the back markers this time as the leader takes the last that flag then. It's Rolf for lead then. Theobald is up to second. And Archie Rolf, he's got three back markers coming to view halfway down that back straight for the final time. He goes on the outside of one, on the outside of two, and now on the outside of three. And a superb ogre ride right there by Archie Rolf. He's going to win the first in the junior action. Super ride right there by Archie Rolf. Second place is Finley Theobald. Third place is Kane Newby. The fourth place rider should be number 24, which is Ryan Curl. William Offen is in fifth. Braden Blind in sixth place, but we'll double check that with the lap scorer. Cracking it there of junior action, won there by Archie Roll Friday, number three. Second, number 16, Finley Theobald. And third, number 14, Kane Newby. 24. 80, 37, 9, 92, 991, and number 4. So, 3, 16, 14, 24, 80, 37, 9, 92, 991, and number 4. Right, race number 4, delete number 91, Ollie Bins. breaking clear as they dive, it's like Aiden Watt, I think it is, look at that rider going right round the outside, they're going to be four abreast coming up that top corner, somebody's going to run in the room, he's been taken wide and wide, and he's going to come through to them to re-hold his second place, it was Aiden Watt who was taken wider and wide, he's got a man to the climb now, as he battles his way through into that fourth place, Richard, we'll watch him pick up the lead, he's going to that back straight once again, super high speed action in this first heat of the... Um, 
of the GT pair, 140s pairs competition.
taken a long time to settle for this first heat of the uh, of the pad. together as they go down the back straight for the uh, first time then. Good race coming up the front and third and fourth are really motoring on. They're going to be four abreast coming up that top corner for the first time. They've picked it all, got a four in that top corner. And it's coming to the Malaysian. And the two draws is fucking second. And third place, Kevin's going to whip on now from first to fourth. Red flag, red flag is out. Rather down on the top corner. Don't quite know what happened to Kevin Gullen because he was leading the race and suddenly dropped back to fourth place on the entry to that uh, top corner. But rather down there on that uh, first corner of the first lap of that particular race. Well, again, we don't know what the problem is over on that far side, but uh, it looks as if they might finally have got it sorted out. begin to pick up again away we go somebody looping out of the start there they charge down the back straight for the first time then the three abreast going into that top corner that could rapidly become four abreast they spread all over the track going in that top corner for the first time something's got to give somebody being pushed really wide on the exit from the corner there so the broader lad will try and team ride this from the end one of the pair it's Cox out on his own with Kevin Gullum and retired from the first heat then it's, it's broader as one and two with Cox in the chasing in third place these two pulling away for the remainder of the pack but they come to the complete lap number two Number six is moved through into fourth place. That's Dennis Cosgrove with the same order at the front. Then Broder is one in two with Cox again trying to split them up as they race into that top corner once again. Then will this be a chance for Cox to close the gap? But still can't close it enough as they move it on the last corner. still holding that fourth place, he's now coming under pressure for that fourth place position but let's not look at the scrap of the front because John Cox is the closest he's been in the entire four laps, they come out of that top corner for the final time it's a broader one and two John Cox coming across the line in third change of position for fourth now Cosco gets fourth Harding five Bundock six number 14 Oliver Smith in seventh place Result of race number six then is a win for number 58, Max Broaders. Second number 158, Wayne Broaders. So maximum points for that pairing. 611, John Cox was third. 60, 91, 56, 14. 58, 158, 611, 60, 91, 56 and 14. We move on then to race number seven. Another heat of the GT pairs.
seven up for the tape so where they go again looks at Mark Scopes who made a good start there he's a leader going to the back straight for the first time Ian Clark's come alongside him and cuts back through on the inside it's Clark who leads him into that top corner on the opening lap the three abreast for second place tucked in behind him but it's Clark who leads him Back in third place and making the move round the outside to go through into third place then. As Clark leads it from Cheslin second. Mark Scoops has got the third place position. That's the top three and he's coming under pressure for that third place now as they come on to complete. Oh, up number two then. It's Ian Clark holding his control at the front then. Into that top corner they go once again with the last half flag being made ready. Clark is clear at the front then. Castle still holds that second. Good Egypt GT action there again, one by number 54, Ian Clark. Second number, 758, Mark Chessel. And third number, 21, Mark Scoops. 777, 50, 77, 157, 181, 81, and number 5. So 54, 758, 21, 777, 50, 77, 157, 181, 81, and number 5. Race number 8, unfortunately, delete number 1, Charlie Wood. then for the third heat of Baz action for the GT 140s. Again, we'll pick them out as they come by us for the uh, first time then. Second place. Connor Sargent leads it with nine holding that second place position. That's the top two change of position was at the third and fourth spot. Good action going there and Rod in the fifth place is also closing the gap as they race into that top corner once again then. It's still Connor Sargent that's got the lead at the front, number 11. Sergeant to lives and fruit leads from night holding that second place position. 
to have the lead in this uh, three-man e-bike race. Coming out of that top corner. Let's pick them out as they come by us this time. Who's that? Levy Collins it is that leads it from... Um, 
Obi Gutridge is in second with um, Archie Denham in third place. That's the three of them. Three lap race for all these little e-bikes. And Evie Collins, impressive winner first time out. He's got a big lead now as he goes now back straight once again. From uh, Kobe Goodridge holding second. Archie Denham is in third. Equal distance between the three of them as we watch them go into that top corner for the uh, second time. Last lap flag beam air ready then for Levy Collins. Well clear then from uh, Kobe Goodridge in second. Archie Denham is in third. He's on the last lap. The time is your race leader. Certainly uh, Kobe Goodridge keeping much closer to him this time in that second place position. Holding back of course on that first lap. And he's definitely much closer to the race leader this time. And then we've got Archie Denham in third place. Just starting his last lap now. The leader down the back straight for the final time in this three lap e bike second race. Watch the leader going into that uh, top corner for the final time, and it is Levi Collins. Well, clear, going to make it two to two in the heats of the e bikes. Takes the finishing flag this time. Second is going to be uh, Kobe Guthrie, just coming across the line now. And third will be Archie Denham. Rider just coming across the line now. So it's a win for 08 Levi Collins, second number 174 Kobe Goodridge, and third number 81 Archie Denham. So coming to line then for race number 11. I'll be shipped very impressive when it first came out. Charlie Dow chased him home in uh, second place. We go then with the second heat of the auto cadets and cadets and somebody's got off his ship, they've got an absolute floor, he's already motoring on down that back straight. Charlie Dowd has slipped through into second place and he's the rider giving him chase, they wait into that top corner for the first time then. It's Ship who's stolen a mile to the front with Dowd holding that second place position. Adam Ship in press for leading up and Dowd holding that second place position. It's Toby Costa who's got the third place, of course. Dale just scoring his first out him and picking up a good third place in this one. That's a leader down the back straight for the second time. That ship who leads them. And down in second. Costa is in third. Albi South is in fourth place. And the race leader is going to lap um, the fifth place rider, of course, is Darcy Austin in fifth place as a race leader. Goes in that pitch corner once again. That leader is Alfie Ship then. Charlie Dow now lapping the fifth place rider on the entry to that pitch corner once again. It's Costa having a good ride in third place. They're starting a little bit spread out now in this second heat of the auto cadets and cadets. The fourth place rider is now being lapped there by your race leader, Alfie Ship, as he's about to take the last lap flag this time. Alfie Ship, very much on course to make it two and a two. Charlie Dow is having another good ride there in second. Costa's hanging on to that third with South in four, Austin in five. That's the five of them. As we watch the race leader down the back straight, he goes for the uh, final time. Very much on course to make it 2-2. Two to two. His uh, Alfie ship totally in control of this second heat of the auto cadets and cadets. He's into that uh, top corner for the final time. Laps the fifth place rider for the second time and Alfie ship makes it 2-2. Two two. Charlie Dow picks up the second place position. Toby Costa on the score chart this time with a third place. Fourth will be number 54 and fifth will be 991.
Number 11, result then, a win for number 16, Alfie Ship. Second, number 5, Charlie Dowd. And third, number 73, Toby Cosser. 54, 991. 16, 5, 73, 54, 991. Race 12 is the second heat of the juniors. Should be some, some cracking action again with uh, Archie Rolf, Kane Newby and Finley Thelbold in action again in this race. Number 12. Then he's clear, going to that back straight for the 
is second time, Jacob Phillips holds the third place position, so I'm forced to know Aidan Watts, and uh, now Jesse James has come out this time, and he won the heat the last time, but it doesn't appear to be out there for the second running of the intermediates, and it's Cox who's clear at the point, they just put in lap number two. 34 is out on two in his second, that's Greenfield. Phillips and Bloomfield is in third place. They're really spread out now in this second heat of the intermediates and it's Cox who leads them from Phillips in second. Bloomfield is in third. He could just between the three of them. Then William Cox holding the second leg from Jacob Phillips holding second place position and 64 Max Bloomfield is in third place. So no James and no Hayden Watts unfortunately not coming out for this second heat of the Inters and it's going to be Liam Cox who picks up the winning ride this time. Number 34 is in second place, Jacob Phillips, and 64 is in third. So we give you the result of this race. First, it's a win for number 611, Liam Cox. Second, number 34, Jacob Phillips. And third, number 64, Max Bloomfield. 611, 34, 64. Result of race 12, Juniors. Win for number 3, Archie Rolfe. Second, number 16, Finley Theobald. And third, number 14, Kay Newby. 24, 80, 92, 37, 9, and number 4. So 3, 16, 14, 24, 80, 92, 37, 9, and number 4. That brings you up to date with all the results. Next race is pre-75 solos. Riders number 34 and 64, Jacob Phillips and Max Bloomfield, warning from the clerk of the course for riding way outside the markers. Just a warning at the moment from the clerk of the course to Jacob Phillips and Max Bloomfield. Through the gate then for race number 40, 375 solo, second leg, away they go then. Tim Carnot doesn't make the best of starts, he's gone from fourth to first already, it's been like Phil Kimman and lifted halfway down that back straight while holding the lead position, it's Cox on the inside, uh, Kernock on the inside, and somebody's gone ready wide with the team for the Kernock lead, then the Kimman holds his second side, is in fourth place, it is there. Uh, 35, Mr. Phillips has got machine problems there. We're trying to get right round the outside. That's bad luck. He's picked up a good second place in his first outing. But it's Tim Kernock, well clear at the front. And they come to complete lap number two this time. And so Tim Malone's that second place. This is Kernock, that's complete two. Tim Malone is second. Chad is in third. Gets this in fourth. Dismore is in five. Brown in six. That's to six of them as they go down the back straight once again. The farther race goes, the farther Tim Kernock is getting away at the front, looking to make it two to two in the heats of the pre-75 solos. Tim Kernock is the clear leader. In still holds that second. Chad gets a little bit closer in third. Rounds up to four, dents in five, there's more in six. That's two to six as it's Tim Kernock, the length of a straight clear at the front then as he goes into that uh, pitch top corner for the final time. Check it flags out for Tim Kernock, he makes it two to two. Second place is going to go to uh, Phil Kidman. Third, Alex Chad. Fourth, Graham Brown. Five, Max Dent. Six, Charles Dismal. Result of race 14, a win for 726, Tim Kernock. 
Second number 11, Phil Kinman. And third number 39, Alex Chad. Three, 57 and 82. So 7, 2, 6, 11, 39, 3, 57 and 82. And we go then to race 15, the start of the second leg of the pairs. Coming to line then for race number 15, start the second leg of the Paris competition in the GT 140s. Up for the tapes, everybody gets away this time, we're looking for Mark Chessel to make a good start, he had a good run in his first outing. And he's in second place at the moment as they go into that top corner. Chessel trying to work away right round the outside to take the lead position. He's being pushed wider and wider and wider. It's big to believe that Chessel is in second place. Harding gets the third. Nice to him. Fourth and fifth place. So they go down the back straight once again. In fact, these two are going to team ride because Chessel and Newsom are the pairing in this particular one. So they'll sit shoulder to shoulder. First and second place. They're doing a good job at the moment with Newsom on the inside and Chessel. Russell covering the outside line. The rest of the match will be in second place at number two. He's the lead to Chess in second. Harding is in third. Knight is in fourth. The other Knight is in sixth place. They go to the back straight once again. It's still Newsome with the advantage. But Chessel quite content to sit in there behind him to get maximum points for this pairing in the start of the second round for the pairs competition. On the last half they go. Newsome looking down. He's got right problems. They go maximum points in the back. Newsome has got right problems. So Harding goes through into second place. Knight goes through into third. So it's all dramatically changed now. They're good. We're going to get maximum points. But Chessel will be the only one to score this time as he's at the top corner for the final time in a very eventful race number 15. It's Mark Chessel that gets the winning ride. The Harley comes across the line in second. Knight is in third. Cockgrove in fourth. The other night in fifth place. So drama there in the race number 15. The result of race 15 and a win for 758, Mark Chessel. Second number 91, Lee Harding. And third, 229, Richie Knight. 60 and 25. So 758, 91, 229, 60 and 25. Right, next race, delete number one, Charlie Wood will be a non-starter from this one. Could be interesting because the Broader has picked up maximum points first time out. Ian Clark won his opening ride. With Reese Naylor picking up third place, fourth place points. So uh, it's a uh, lot to go for in this uh, heat race number 16. continue down the back straight for the first time then. The three abreast going in that colour side broader is one and three and Ian Clark trying to split them up on the exit from that top corner as they come by us the first time then. Round the outside to move through into third place. As Broadus leads 
Edmund Clark in second, Broadhurst is in third, Newsom is in fourth. So these two pairings getting good points out of the second heat of the GT1 30 pairing. Start. He had problems in his first outing. They're trying to get it sorted out. Looks like the problems have reoccurred. You can see him on the middle of the track there as they release the riders for race number 16. Second is Kevin Willis. 
and the e-bikes are on their way down the back straight for the first time. We're just checking on some of the points and they're so quiet that you don't uh, hear them leave. So they're going in that top corner then for the uh, first time. Again, they're pretty close together for first and second places with uh, Archie Denham back in third as they come by us for the first time. Again, it's Levy Collins who has the lead then from um, Kobe Guthridge who's got that second place position. Archie Denham is in third. At the pits corner they are once again. And it's still Levy Collins leading then from uh, Kobe Guthridge in second. Archie Denham in third place position. I think this is Archie's first ride. And I said we do have the three generations of Denham here racing today. Well, um, obviously Lewis is not racing but he is here with us. So as we watch the electric bikes going into that top corner once again. Levy Collins starting to increase his lead at the front from Kobe Guthridge in second and Archie Denham in third. Last lap flag goes out then for your race leader. Again, Kobe Guthridge joins him on his last lap and he's definitely kept closer to the lead rider this time. Archie Denham still there in third place. Down the back straight goes your race leader for the final time. And this is the third leg of the uh, e-bikes. It's halfway down the back straight is uh, Levi Collins. Still got Tridge in second. Denham is in third place. Into that top corner goes your race leader for the final time. Exits the corner and about to take the checkered flag to make it 3-3. Three to three. That goes to Levi Collins. Second place is going to go to Kobe Guthridge. And that will give Archie Denham third place position. And this is the third leg of the uh, electric bikes. Still waiting for Archie Denham to come over the line. Completing the course this time for his third, third place. So result, that is a win for 08, Levy Collins. Second number 174, Kobe Guthridge. And third number 81, Archie Denham. The next race is race 20, third leg of the Auto Cadets and Cadets. Away we go then, and Alfie's ship has gone an absolute stormer again, he's away down that back straight already, it's um, Charlie Dowd who's got the second place position, somebody left on the line yet again, or oh, it's of course it's uh, Darcy Austin left on the line there, but eventually getting away, as the race leader comes by us to complete his opening lap, and that leader is Alfie's ship, totally in control of the seat, Charlie Dowd again holding that second place position. Holds the third place position. The race leader then coming into that uh, top corner once again. Going to start lapping the back markers. It was Toe, it was Mr. Costa again who got left on the line. He's trying to back his way through to pick up some points. Then he's left on the line as uh, Alfie Ship completes that lap being chased by Charlie Dowd in second place position. It's still number 54 holding third. 
as Toby Cross is trying to close the gap on the fourth pace ride again, had problems with the bike at the start, he's going pretty quickly at the moment, as he's looking to get that fourth place position, as your race leader off his ship, moves it on to the last lap this time, looking to make it 3 to 3 ship is the clear leader, but now all in second place, you can speed at uh, Cross has now picked up a bit of speed and he's chasing down, although he's a lap down on down, he's chased him pretty hard there and he's going to m catch the fourth place rider half a down that back straight. So it's off his ship into that to top corner for the final time. Jacket flag is out, he's going to make it three to three. It's half his ship who wins the third each of the auto cadets and cadets. Charlie Doe comes across the line in second. I think that means Mr. Cosser moves up to third with 54 in fourth and Darcy Austin in fifth place. Right, result of race 20, win for number 16, Alfie Ship. Second number 5, Charlie Dowd. And third number 73, Toby Cosser, who one lapped himself, of course, by passing number 54 on that last lap. 54 was fourth, and 991 in fifth place. So 16, 5, 73, 54, 991. Race 21, then, another heat of the juniors. Should be in for another cracker with Rolf Newby and Theobald, Archie Rolf on beat in the moment. But TK Newby and Finley Theobald have really made him work for his uh, victory this afternoon.
92, 37, 9, 4, and 24. So 3, 16, 14, 80, 92, 37, 9, 4, 24. Result over 3 laps. Next race, of course, will be the intermediates, third leg. Be interested to see if Hayden Watts and Jesse James come out. They, Jesse, in fact, won the first heat of this class, didn't come out for the second time, and Hayden had machine problems when well, well placed. Don't forget to lead, of course, number 91, Polly Bing Bins, a non starter. Building up the three for the third leg of the intermediate. Where we go then, the three of them get away together. Down the back straight they charge for the first time. It looks very much to me that Liam Cox it is who has the advantage with Phillips holding uh, second place and uh, Bloomfield in third. It is uh, Liam Cox who is the clear race with Jacob Phillips holding second. And Bloomfield again using every inch of track in that third place position as Cox makes his way down the back straight once again. He's clear there, but Phillips is trying to close the gap there in second. They're getting away from uh, Bloomfield in third. They got the same between first and second as they come out of that top corner once again. Cox looking for his second win in this position as well. He needs it then. Phillips has got the second. Bloomfield is still in third. Again, Phillips has closed the gap on Cox. They go to the back straight once again. He's down about six bike length behind him. Could be interesting going in to this top corner once again. Cox takes the inside line. Phillips winds it on right round the outside. Again, it's closed right up the Cox. So they move it on the corner. It's just a compromise between them. Cox eluded them. Then Phillips holding second place again. Phillips goes wide. Gets the drive coming off the corner. He's going to come alongside Cox. Down that back straight on lap number four. There's a bike between them going into the top corner for the final time. Again, Cox sticking to the inside. Phillips again winds it on right round the outside. He's going to try and cut back for an inside run, but Cox has got the speed. Phillips gets a second with Bloomfield in third place. The result of race 22 is a win for 6 1 1. Liam Cox, second number 34, Jacob Phillips, and third number 64, Max Bloomfield. For race 23 is next, that's the third leg of the pre-75. So coming out of the pits for race 23, the third leg of the pre-75. Tim Kern are competing, of course, in this uh, class at the moment. Seventy-five and Tim Connock's made a good start, but somebody's there with him. In fact, the two other riders with him there at the moment as they go in that top corner on the opening lap. Then it's Connock right in the mid-track position on the exit from the corner. He is the race leader, but still in the second. Tim is in third place. That's the top one as they go down that back straight once again. Tim Connock already started at that stamp his authority. He's a clear leader from. Uh, Still Phillips holding that second place position, changed for fourth, third and fourth places, but nobody can stop Tim Kernock at the moment, totally in control of the team of the pre-75. Tim Kernock's that second, he's lost Phillips again somewhere, because 39, Chad has gone through in a third, so disaster for Phillips again. 
And Tim Kernock well cleared the front then. It's still Kinman holding that second place position. Chad has got the third. Dent's got going a little bit faster in position number four. As he left that side comes in then. Poor Tim Kernock totally in control. Kinman holds the second place position. Chad has got the third. Dent is in four. Six, that's a six of them. So we can push it home and here can uh, Tim Kernock, the checker flag comes out for him, he makes it three to three in the pre-75 solo. Second place goes to Phil Kinman. Third is going to be Alex Chan. Fourth match then, five goals is more and sixth place it's Graham Brown. Result of that race, a win for 726, Tim Kernock. Second number 11, Phil Kinman. And third number 39, Alex Chad. 57, 82, number 3. 726, 11, 39, 57, 82, number 3. Third leg then of the pairs in action this time. Kevin Gwillem and John Cox, they've got good points. Wayne and... Uh, Max Broder, they've scored very well indeed. Mark Chessel and Steve Newsom have also had some good results, so we should be in for a very interesting race number 24. Of course, Cox and Willem would have been better placed, but Kevin had an engine failure while holding second place in the first heat. So they're looking again to try and get some maximum points out of race number 24. Broder, some had the first and second and a third and fourth together. So they will have good points. Oh, well, there we go then with another heat, the GT 140s. And it's Kevin Gwillem again who's got the drop of the front. Can he keep the motor going this time then? Broadhurst has got away with him. And the other Broadhurst is in fourth place as Willem's taking them all wide on the exit for that top corner on lap number one then. It's As they go to the back straight once again, Broaders has got inside Gwillem. Gwillem comes again to retake the lead. Broaders back in second and third. Newsom and Chessel again trying to wind it on. They're going to be four of best the first play on the exit from that top corner. So Gwillem just now keeps them down. Newsom is still out on the fourth. Chessel still back in five. Then four of best again. Going round the outside. One Broaders has gone inside. Gwillem has gone the outside. Gwillem again comes back up the inside. Run that four of best coming in to that top corner once again super action between these three it's Gwillem on the inside he's pushing the broadest boys wide and wide and wide Max Broaders in third, Chessel's up to four, Newsom relegated to five. Again, they're going to be three of us coming down that back straight four. He's put on time. Willem by half a bite from Broaders, holding our second Broaders in third. Chessel is now up to four, relegating Newsom to five. They're four of us coming out of that top corner, four. He's put on time. Willem wins it, Max Broaders second, Wayne Broaders third, Chessel in four, Newsom is in five. Super action between that top five and that heat of the GT 140s. Back in action there, that heat of the GT 140s, won by number 66, Kevin Gwillem. Second number, 158, Wayne Broaders. And third number, 58, Max Broaders. 756, 758, 777, 42, 4, and 62. So 66, 158, 58, 758, 777, 42, 4, and 62. Another heat of the pairs comes up, race 25. Interesting, no son of John Cox there. He's already warm when he when um, Kevin Willem had problems. This time Kevin Willem wins the race and no points there for John Cox. So, so despite having some couple of good outings, the point situation is not going to be high because each of the other pair in this failed to score in 
one or other particular heat. This is race 25. And on the qualified heat for the GT1 Fornis. Away they go then. Down the back straight they charge. And three abreast for the lead position. The Scoops has gone through on the inside, somebody's making a big move around the out, looks like Knight is picking up that second place again, we'll pick them out, as it's still to lead, that's not the top five as they go to the back straight once again Mark Scoop start to pull away the front then Silk Knight holds that third with Hawker in fourth like Hawker's gone through into second place with his partner at the front then Scoop leads it and partner Hawker who's got that second place position as they complete that lap Scoop leads Hawker is in second Knight is in third Knight is in five, that's the top five as they race down the back straight once again start to spread themselves out a little bit in this the uh, se second heat to the third leg of the G2 140 but no disputing it, Mark Scoops has got the lead position, Adam Hawke having his best ride of the afternoon so far he holds that second place position Down the back straight for the more time. Scopes clear at the front. Partner Hawk, uh, Hawkins is going to pick up the second place. So they're going to get big points out of this race. Number 25 then. It's Mark Scoops who gets the winning ride. Walker gets second. Harding in third. Cockburn in five. Knight in six. Collins in seven. The other Knight and then Lester Denham. And a rider fallen on that last corner. Another good heat down of GT 140s and it's a win for number 21 Mark Scoops. Second number 50 Adam Hawker and third 91 Lee Harding. 60, 229, 181, 25, 81. So 21, 50, 91, 60, 229, 181, 25 and 81. Over the page we go then, delete number one Charlie Wood as we go into the last qualifying heats for the uh, for the GT 140s. Ian Clark on beaten so far in his uh, two outings. Reese Naylor has picked up useful points as his partner in the opening two heats. And then for race 26, last qualifying heat for the GT 140s. Everybody gets away. Ian Clark hasn't made the best of starts, but he's already tucked himself through into that second place on the shoulder of the race leader as they go in that top corner for the first time. Then gets to on the inside, pushing that rider really wide, and it's Ian Clark who leads then. Second, we're at Reece Naylor with Kevin Bundock having his best part of the afternoon. He's in third place at three abreast, going down the back straight once again. Then Clark is coming under tremendous pressure there. He's dropped back to second, gets back through new, again to take the leading. Kevin Bundock's come for nowhere to go through into third place at three abreast on the exit for that top corner again. But it's Clark who leads. Second place. Clark's trying to 
the team right there with Naylor. Bundocker's got the third place positions. They go down the back straight. This is what the pairs is all about. Clark looking for uh, Naylor all the time. Then as they go in that top corner once again, Bundock trying to split them up. Sergeant is in fourth place. They cut, take the check and pass back this time. Clark again looking for his final end up second. Bundocker's in the third. Sergeant is in fourth. The sergeant is in fifth place. As they go down the back straight once again, and somebody's come to a stop in a good position. We've lost the second place for us. Ian Clark leads going into that top corner for the final time. So drama again in the seat of the GT140s. As Clark goes wide, leads again. Oh, sergeant's four in the last corner. Clark wins it. Clark wins it. Now Clark wins Sergeant in fourth. And the other sergeant has fallen right in with the uh, just 20 yards from the line. So uh, we'll wait to see if he can push over to get some points out of this. Obviously he needs to. And he is going to push it across. That's Connor Sergeant pushing across the line to pick up what could be crucial points. So another event for eight there, won by number 54, that's Ian Clark, his third win of the afternoon. Second, number 77, Reese Naylor, and Clark looking for his partner all the way around there. And in third place, number 56, it's Kevin Bundock, his best rider of the afternoon. Then seven, one four zero two two four three fourteen 3, 14, and 11. So 54, 77, 56, 7, 1, 4, 0. 27 
57, 209 and 20. 69, 44, 386, 47, 73, 281, 57, 209 and number 20. That brings us up to the interval in today's meeting. So have they come then for semi-final number one. Ian Clark on beaten at the moment. You saw him team riding his part at home there in that last heat. Mark Scoops, Kevin Hawkins, Adam Hawker, sorry, and Mark Chessel, Steve Newsom, Darren Sargent, Connor Sargent, Kevin and Rod Stewart are the riders for this first semi-final. Looks at Mark Chessels in that bunch as well, and they're really bunching up again, going into that top corner for the opening lap. Then something's got to give on the exit from this corner. It's just Clark to lead. Then, 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 really get that wild well job there. They actually touch right in front of us as Clark leads, going down the back straight for the second time. Then Chester's got the second. Mark Coops is in third place. Adam Hawkins worked his way up to fifth place. His is leading the race at the moment, so will fifth place be enough to this car That's the top seven as they stream down the back straight once again. Ian Carr looks behind to see exactly where his partner is. He's still racing the end there. Back to fifth, sixth places. As Mark Chessel getting closer all the time as he lost that flag. Comes down there. Carr leads it to Chessel in second. Fifth and seventh there. Steve Simmons is there. Runs up five. Hawker looking down with his bike in sixth place. As the leader down the back straight once again then. It's Ian Carr who leads going down that back straight in seventh. Adam Hawker getting Slower and slower as the race progresses, but it's going to be a win there for Ian Clark. Second is Mark Chessel. Good chest to third. Newsom is in third. The knock is in five. Sergeant seven. From the Sergeant eight. Walker in ninth place. And the last one across the line. Seven, seven, seven. Then of the first semi-final is a win for number 54, Ian Clark. Second, number 758, Mark Chessel. And third, number 21, Mark Scoops. 77, 56, 140, 7, 50, 11, 777. 54, 758, 2177 56 1407 50 11 777 Semi final number two is next. semi-final number two. Very happy birthday to Pauline Beebe, uh, 21 again today, that's Pauline Beebe, very happy birthday for today.
so settling the game then for semi-final number two.
stretching that lead a little bit now over the second place rider. Archie just starting his last lap as the leader's halfway down that back straight. So that in he goes to that top corner for the final time then. So out he comes at that final corner. It's maximum points for the fourth time for rider number 08, Levi Collins. He wins the last heat of the e-bikes. Second is going to be Kobe Goodrich. And third will be Archie Denham. Just waiting for Archie to negotiate that uh, top corner. Right, next is the Auto Cadets and Cadets, race number 31, with Alfie Ship looking for a uh, maximum in this particular class. So coming out then for race 31, the Auto Cadets and the Cadets. and Alfie Ship has made a cracking start again it's Charlie Dow that does the chasing in second place position you've got the uh, Alfie South will be in third with uh, Darcy Austin in fourth place that's the four of them for this fourth leg of the uh, Auto Cadets and Cadets and Alfie really making it storming away at the front then Charlie Dow chasing hard in that second place position we watch them go down the uh, back straight and then it's number 54 Alby South who comes across the line in third place and that will give Darcy Austin fourth place position as Alfie Ship then comes out of that top corner once again he's going to lap the fourth place rider at the start of his second lap the fair play to Darcy keep quietly going around there first ever out on the bike so doing a great little job so we see Alfie Ship in control then from uh, Charlie Dowd holding second Alfie South is in third. So Alfie Ship now comes by to lap the third place rider in this fourth heat of the uh, Auto Cadets and Cadets. Last lap flag at then for Alfie Ship. Totally in control. He has been all the afternoon winning by big margins in all four races. Charlie Dowd in hot pursuit in second place. And then we've got... Um, Albie South and Darcy Austin. So we look at the race leader. He's at that top corner for the final time. Comes out of the corner and makes it four to four in the heat of the auto cadet and cadet. Impressive afternoon's work there for Albie Ship. Charlie Down picks up the uh, second place. That'll give Albie South third. And Darcy Austin in fourth place. Right, on the lap of honour there for the Auto Cadets and Cadets. The result of that race wins for number 16, Alfie Ship. Second, number 5, Charlie Dowd. And third, number 54, Alfie South. Then 73 and 991. 16, 5, 54, 73, 991. Race 32, fourth leg, 375s, and it's uh, Tim Kernock who goes into this fourth leg on B. 54, Ian Clark, 77, Reese Naylor. 21, Mark Scopes, and 50, Adam Hawker. Sixty Dennis Cotgrove and ninety one Lee Harding. And the final pairing seven five eight Mark Chessel, 
777 Steve Newsom. Those are five pairings for the GT140 final. Leg of the pre-75 solos and it's Tim Curran up that's got the drop, he's the leader down the back straight. Looks like Phil Kinman's tucked into that second place position in behind him. Um, Tim Curran, like I said, on beating in the opening three, he's already building himself a good lead. Tim Kinman's second place position, down his leg on two, into third. So Kurnall is in, and Kinman in second, Chad is in third place, that's the top three, and this is the uh, fourth heat of the pre-75 solos, negotiating that top corner once again, did still uh, Tim Kurnall, still Tim Kurnall got a clear lead there, but Kinman in second. Now on to the third, relegating Chad to four. Dismore's up to five, Brown is in sixth place. As Tim Kernot, well clear going to that back straight once again. Kidman trying to close the gap there in second place. Dentist still hanging on to that third with Chad in fourth. Dismore in five, Brown in six. On the last lap then goes your race leader. Tim Kernot looking for four to four in the heats of the pre-75. Kidman still second, Chad third. Dent again gets closer in four, looking for that third place of Chad. Trying to get inside him on the exit for that pitch corner on lap number four. While this is happening, Tim Kernock comes out of the top corner for the final time. Four to four for Tim Kernock and eight to the pre-75. Bill Kidman picks up that second place mission. Still a good race going on for third and four. Chad gets third. Sent in four, dismal five, Brown in sixth place. Show your appreciation, pre 75s come round on their lap of honour, on beat performance by uh, Tim Kernock this afternoon. So show your appreciation on this side of the track as Tim comes right leads them round then, on beat in his four rides this afternoon. We've got Tim Kernock, Bill Kinman, Charles Dismore, Mr Dent, Alex Judd and Graham Brown all in the lap of honour. The result then a win for 726, Tim Kernock. Second number 11, Phil Kinman. And third number 39, Alex Chad. 57, 82, and number 3. Race 33 should be an absolute cracker again. This junior racing has been fabulous this afternoon. Archie Roll von Beaton, Finley Theobald's chased him home on three occasions and Kane Newby has been very much on the pace as well so we should be in for a cracking final heat of junior action. up then for the uh, final heat of the juniors. Let's hope it's as good as the opening three have been. a cracking start and Theobald's gone away with him that to the shoulder to shoulder going in that top corner once again Rolf on the inside Theobald trying to come right round the outside they're locked together there for first place on the exit of the corner Theobald again making the move round the outside of the pitch corner and Theobald again winds it on trying to get back a rope he's two bikes down on rope now as they go in the back straight on lap number two Newby is back in third place you watch the exit at the front and Archie Rolf still leads then and Finley Theobald has got that second place position and this time Rolf is taking the wide line that Theobald uses in the other and Theobald can't close the gap at the moment as Rolf leads go down that back straight once again Theobald in second Newby is in third that marker comes into play as they go into that top corner once again it's Archie Rolf, that's the biggest distance he's ever been. Finley Theobald and the boy, they've raced and he's in the box of that mark, and now he's Archie Rolf. He's third 
Again, race number 33, won by number 3, Archie Rolf. Second number 16, Finley Theobald. And third number 14, Kane Newby. 24, 37, 92, 9, 80, and number 4. 3, 16, 14, 24, 37, 92, 9, 80, and number 4. Race 34, fourth leg of the Enters and delete Ollie Bin. So coming out then for the fourth leg of the uh, Inters.
So coming into line then for the fourth leg of the Open Unlimited. Looks like Brooks has gone up and down that second place. At two abreast of second place is Chad Woods. I'm just stepping carries on with the business of winding it on. And then he's gone to the DVD. He's gone through in the second place. Carl Beddingfield is in third. Doing an excellent job on that 250 again. As Chad Woods folded the front, looking down at the bike. I'm half way down that back straight. Let's hope he hasn't got any problems. There will be still in second. Beddingfield is in third. And Chad again looking down at the bike again as he goes into the fifth corner. But still the only second thing. 44 has now gone through in the third place. Levi Cobble relegates the car, but it feels to four. As you watch um, Chad Wordsfeld going into that top corner once again. Last up flag being made ready for the spectacular Chad Wordsfeld. Coaching on to his lap number four. Still Thurlby who's got the second. Cobble is in third, but it's still in third. So eight one in fifth. We've lost uh, Steve Brooks up top on that second lap. As we see Chad Woods going in the top corner for the final time. Four unbeaten rides for Chad in the Open Unlimited non-expert. Good race going on for second and third. We've got Phil being second. Cobalt in third. Kenny Field in fourth. Two eight one in fifth. Two oh nine three eight six. And 57. So show your appreciation. They'll come round on a lap of honour. Let's hope that Chad can wind it on again tomorrow in the big 500 class with some real quality opposition in that one. Charlie Powell and uh, Paul Cooper all in action tomorrow. Dan Winterton as well. So show your appreciation then. Well done, Chad. Four spectacular winning rides. Will Thirlby on his lap of honour. Mr. Cobble. Carl Benningfield. 281. 396. 209. And 57. Result of that race, then, it's a win for number 69, Chad Wordsfold. Second, number 47, Will Thurlby. And third, number 44, Levi Cobbold. 83. 73, sorry, 73, 281, 209, 386, and 57. So 69, 47, 44, 73, 281, 209, 386 and 57. Last race of the afternoon is the GT 140 pairs final. 58, 158, 54, 77, 21, 50, 60, 91, 758 and 777. These points, they get the final added to the heats and semi-final points. the day, the only final of the day was the GT 140. Away they go, everybody's got away, this is going to be very interesting as they go to the back straight for the first time, red flag is up, we have a rider down, rider has collapsed off his bike there. Something happened just after they left the starting gate area. We've got a rider down. I think he touched the other rider there. It was so tight they all got out of that gate together. We'll 
by process of elimination try and see exactly who it is. Now that's going to be very interesting because the riders involved were Ian Clark and 758 Mark Chessel. So it's going to be interesting what the decision is there from the clerk of the course because obviously Ian's on beating and uh, Mark's been in the thick of the action. So uh, this could be an intriguing situation the decision that is made by the clerk of the course. Because if any of these two are excluded, then obviously the partner will be out on their own in this rerun of the final. made a good start, Chessel's gone out, whereas Ian Clark is in the middle of the back at the moment and looking to get through on the inside as they go in that top corner, something's got to give on this top corner, that five wide for first place coming out of the corner.
some absolutely fantastic racing this afternoon. Finishing in third place, Kane Newby. In second place, Finley Theobald. And the winner of the Juniors Superb on the Okay, thanks a lot. We move on then to the Inters next in third place, Max Bloomfield. class, Jacob Phillips. And the winner of the Inters this afternoon, Liam Cox.
Thank you very much indeed, lads. But right, move on there to the pre 75s in third place, Alex Chad. Second place goes to Phil Kinman. Thank you very much. <laughs> and the winner of the pre 75s, another unbeaten rider today, Tim Kernock. It's a bit high, isn't it? <laughs> Men of our age. Well done, Tim. You're a great. You're not saying Tim's old, are you? Hey? You're not saying Tim's old, are you? Catching him up. Well, he ain't going to see 25 anymore, is he? <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Right, we now move on to the Unlimited. In third place, Levi Cobble. Second place, Will Thorby. <laughs> Next time. Next time. <laughs> and the winner of this class, Chad Wordsfold. Okay, thanks lads. Final award then for the GT 140s and as usual give us a cracking afternoon's racing in this particular class. In third place, Mark Scoops and Adam Hawker. Second place, Ian Clark and Reese Bear. Okay, thank you very much indeed. That concludes the presentations for today. We look forward to a cracking day's racing tomorrow. You see how well the track has ridden today, so we should be in for some super racing again tomorrow. Thanks for being with us. If you've got the journey home, have a safe journey home. If not, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you very much indeed.